and I'm going to cross the line here. I already have. Ready, Jess? The three percent of branch is in fact a militia branch. We have been taught in New York State that militia is illegal. How many of you felt feel that militia is illegal? Thank you. We have one person out of thirty four that actually feel that. So the rest of us realize that militia really is we the people, correct? Correct. Good morning. All of the people, except for a few public officials. <laughs> <laughs> you are born into the militia. Your birth certificate is your ID card to the militia. So we we encourage people to get involved in the three percent of branch, and we actually do uh, training and preparation, and we are what's referred to as constitutional militia. Now, I put the information out, and I, I know lots of people that are much more knowledgeable of the law than I am. <coughs> much more. And I've asked them to find where in New York State law is it illegal. Nobody's come back to me except for one law that says, let's say the three of us are a militia, and we decide we're going to become an organized militia. That means we're trying to incorporate ourselves. Illegal. We cannot do that. The only organized militia in New York State is the National Guard. So we can't do that. We can't even do it under false pretenses. It doesn't mean we can't go to the range and practice. It doesn't mean we can't prep for ourselves and our community, our family. This is the side that we need to be uh, working on, preparing for the worst. If you don't think the progressive agenda is going to continue to grow in New York State, all I can say to you is, I hope you're right. How many people here believe in the Constitution? Show of hands. All right, you raise your hand. Two. Everybody believes in the Constitution. Second Amendment, they always stop at the right to keep and bear arms, correct? Mm -hmm. What are they leaving out? Shall not be infringed. Something in between those two. Yeah, there's something else in there. The right to belong to an organized militia. Thank you. It's basically everybody, anybody, an able bodied man between the ages of 17 and 47. Now that excludes me. Because I am able bodied, <laughs> but I'm way older than 47. <laughs> but my thinking about it is the hell with it. I'm going to continue forward, right? Uh, so the DICT Act does define the difference between an organized and unorganized militia. What is militia? Are we organizing the militia or not? We are bringing, we're asking people to come together to prepare themselves to defend their communities if they need to. A constitutional militia is strictly a defensive group of people. They are not offensive. They are not offensive. They cannot legally initiate um, any form of attack. But they can counterattack to defend themselves. At that point, the whole game changes. Well, you can always contact myself. You can always contact me. We have groups throughout the state that are prepping. Um, I'm, I also sit on the national board for the United American Militia Advisory Council. We have 180 represent, 190 representatives from across the country that are in that council that are involved with organizing the militia across the country. And um, I'm a good source, but there's lots of groups across New York State that are actually forming up in similar fashions. So the best thing to do to answer your question as directly as I can is if you're interested in doing that, get a hold of me. Most of you, I guess, are on Facebook. Um, if you don't have my email address, you can get a hold of me via my email address. And I can refer you to what we call a vetted group. A vetted group for us is a group that is not a hothead group. There's a lot of hotheads out <laughs> there that are way too willing to just argue online and do nothing offline. 
Um, so we, we spend a lot of time vetting people and make, make sure that they're rational thinkers. So if these people <coughs> pursued this, would they be doing something illegal or illegal? Not illegal. How many people were born here in the United States? How many people over the United States? Guess what? You're part of the United States Coalition <coughs> designated by the Constitution. Yep. You're born into it. You don't even have to join the organization. You're already a militia member. Yep. It's the number two. Seven things are designated and established by the Constitution as permanent. The first two, we the people. The second is the militia. So whether you like being in a militia or not, if you have a birth certificate in the United States, you're in the militia. Just the fact that there's so many questions going on about it, the fear that some people have about it is exactly what they want. That's exactly what they want. That's why you can't be silent anymore. That's why you have to stand up. I'm a three percenter. I'm part of the militia. I'm good with it. They want to come for me? Let's go. <laughs> Isn't that a part of all five and four people? What's that? Isn't it part of all five and four people? You better believe it. And, and more people need to say it. Ask yourself this question, and I don't, I don't want answers, but ask yourself this question. What do you need to defend yourself against? Is it the government? Is it a police force that's out of control? Is it a group of drug dealers down in the corner of your street? Or when they shut off the EBT cards, are you close enough to a city that there's going to be hordes of people coming for your food, for your family? It doesn't matter why you need to defend yourself. You need the ability to do it. And you can't do it alone. So whether you form up with the five neighbors next to you, or 60 to 100 people in the county or the village city that you live in, that's a militia. So that is a neighborhood watch, is that a militia? It, it could be considered a militia. Um, you know, because of the uh, undefined nature of the word, some people refer to it as the M word, um, the undefined nature of militia here in New York, um, there are many groups that call themselves uh, citizen guards or community <coughs> watch groups. And they are, in fact, doing the same thing. They're protecting their homes against people that will do harm against them. So there are lots of different names that they fall under. The fact that, as Paul says, it is our birthright. And I attribute it to our God-given <coughs> right. It is our right to be able to defend ourselves. But I don't know anybody... I don't know anybody that, you know, after they've gotten hit a couple of times from a bad guy, is not going to want to defend themselves. No matter how liberal they are in their thinking, right? Pain has a way of teaching people self-defense very quickly. It's our in instinct to want to be able to defend ourselves. It is our instinct to want to be able to defend ourselves. Cool heads, rational minds, proper self-defense, and we have a polite community and a safer community. It blows my mind that, honestly, when, when it comes to the Constitution, everybody wants to support it all, but they always seem to fall short when it comes to the word militia. <laughs> the one word that's in there, they're afraid to say. And, and why is that? It, why is it? Anybody that calls himself a three percenter, I'm sorry, that's just another way of saying the M word, because they don't want to say it. 